Hello guys! Thank you for once again visiting to my channel. I hope I have helped you. And this time, just relax. Um, enjoy learning easy mathematics with me. Following binomials. So in this case, we have here a squared minus b squared. Okay? Now, in this first term, our base is a. And the second term, our base is B. So what we will do is we simply copy the two bases. And we write the operation addition. And we do the same here with subtraction operation. Okay. So therefore, the factor of A squared minus B squared is equal to the product of A plus B and a minus b which is actually the sum and difference of two the same terms and these terms is taken from the basis of the two um, terms here or actually we can write the product of a minus b and a plus b and that is because of commutative property of multiplication and for our next example, we have here m squared minus 16. Take note, we need to express each term in a square form. Okay? m squared here is already in a square form, but 16 is not yet in a square form. So we express each term in a square form first for easier factoring. So we have here now the square of m and the square of 4. Why 4? Because when you multiply 4 by itself, the product is 16. Okay? So, here our base is m and our here base is 4. So what we do is simply copy the bases and we write the operation doing the same on the other factor with subtraction operation or we can do the commutative we have here the subtraction and addition in our next example we have here 25 x squared minus 4 y raised to the power of 6 again take note to express its term in a square form now this is not yet expressed in a square form so what we do is Okay, we have here the square of 5x. 5 because when you multiply 5 by itself, the product is 25. 2 because when you multiply 2 by itself, the product is 4. Now, how did we get 3? Okay, how did we get 3 here? So, 6 here is divided by 2. And the quotient is 3. And we enclose these terms and raised to the power of 2. So our bases now are 5x and 2y cubed. So to factor, we just simply copy the bases and the operation doing the same on the other factor. Or we have this expression. Okay. Through commutative property of multiplication. For our example number 2, we are going to factor the binomial negative x squared plus 49. Now, first we have to rewrite this expression as the difference of two squares. Okay? So, instead of writing negative x squared plus 49, we can write 49 minus x squared. Okay? That is commutative property of addition. So then again, write each term in a square form. By the way, there is no an end here. It's only square form. So 49 can be written in a square form as 7 squared and of course minus x squared. So the factor for the factors 
we have here 7 plus x multiplied by 7 minus x. Now I think you are now ready for our exercises. So let's see. Okay, so you have your exercises A. And exercises. 